Now to a story that is new this morning, an El Paso native is bringing awareness to the need for attendant care workers across the borderland. KTSM 9 News reporter Jasmine Perry is out live to tell us why care workers are so important for people with disabilities. Jasmine, good morning. Good morning, Brenna Chair. So since, since the pandemic, there has been a massive shortage of attendant care workers. Now I spoke to a local advocate who tells me how important it is to have one. The Personal Attendant Coalition of Texas is assuring seniors and Texans with disabilities that they'll have an attendant who can meet their needs. That goes for people with different disabilities such as cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, spina bifida, visual impairment, or Asperger, Asperger's syndrome. They, they all need someone to prepare food for them, bathe them, or even a companion, especially if they don't have a family member to confine in. Nathan Coleman is an advocate for people with disabilities and a kind of caring partner's home care in El Paso. And while his brother has been taking care of him for 36 years, he knows how important it is to have an attendant caregiver and how there is a massive need for attendance. They shouldn't look into the money issue. They should look into the satisfaction that they have of working with somebody with a disability, making a difference, being the light that they may need to continue on because, of course, having a disability um, can put you down in many aspects. He adds that he wants people to realize they are making a positive change in the life of someone with a disability. As of now, attendant care is a minimum wage, but the Personal Attendant Coalition is working to raise wages for attendants. Coleman says if you have disabilities and you're on a waiting list, they have an attendant. To not give up because a social worker will contact you to set up an assessment plan as well as create an individual plan of a budget. That way you don't have to stay at home. Well, that way you can stay at home, I mean, and not in an institution. Reporting live from Central El Paso, I'm Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. Jasmine, thank you so much for that report.